Hello. Today I'm feeling to drink some Moby. So I'm gonna make some Moby and show you the way I make it. Now the Moby is more or less a Caribbean drink. A lot of the Caribbean islands like this Moby. Some people don't like it because they say it has a bitter taste. But I like I love it. And recently I found that it's it have a, a lot of health benefits. It's good for arthritis, it's good for diarrhea, like cholesterol, mm -hmm. blood, even diabetics. So I'm gonna make some the way I like it. So I got my ingredients here. This is the Moabi bark. This is the main ingredient. Cinnamon, I have orange peel, some cloves, and one cup of sugar. I'm be using one gallon of water. And what I like to add to my own is cream soda. I drop 16 ounces of cream soda in the gallon of wa uh, water when I finish making it. So this is Guyana Bess, I see. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my cream soda in there. So what I'll do, I'll bring this gallon of water to a boil. Then I'm gonna add this stuff. I'm gonna let it boil in a minute for a little while. Then I'm gonna turn down the heat I let it seep for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it seep and draw all that goodness out of this bark and spices. I'm gonna add my sugar and my cream soda. So, I'll show you those steps. Now, Moby, I remember back in the day when I was a kid living in Silver Town on Bottom Drive, Linden. The Wisma Market was very, very nice. They had so many people in there selling. It was bright, a real hot spot. And there was this knocker, this lady that used to have goodies to sell, pastries and all the good stuff. She used to have one of the best mobbies. Yeah, she used to have a real good mob. I remember going by Miss Carr get him more be there. That was her name, Miss Carr? Miss Carr. A lot of, okay. a lot of the, the older folks back home is going to remember Miss Carr. Okay. Now, the neighbor next to us, the Smalls, mm -hmm. Mr. Small also had a stall in our market, a very well stocked stall. And then later down, her son, Anthony, my good buddy, he had a stall also, but he had a double stall, two joined together to make a big one. Now, the Smalls were our neighbor for quite some years and we grew up to be very close. They were like family to us. So I'm gonna give a shout out to all the Smalls. Anthony, Brenda, Pats, Debbie, Dad Junior and Dan, they were twin. Then you had, after the, the, the two boy twins, there was Nigel. After Nigel, there was a next set of twins, Abiola and Allison. Yeah, so those guys, man, we, we had some good days together. Mm. Yes, so. Small days, eh? Yes, small days with the smalls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, do, we do keep in touch after so long because Last year, I think, when I went to New York to visit my brother, Anthony came over and spent a couple hours with us. Mm -hmm. It was really nice seeing him. Okay, so I'm going to show you the next steps. So guys, Brian putting out this Mobby recipe. All who does make the Mobby for Christmas. Oh yes. Catching it early, eh? Oh yes, normally it's a make it every Christmas but I make it throughout the year too because I like it mm -hmm. and know that I'm knowing it so have this medical benefits well, the health benefits. I'll be drinking yes. it more often keep the blood sugar down keep the cholesterol down mm -hmm. I think your blood pressure too yeah, so this so. is good 
And All right. you know, talking about that, there is a vine that you get in the jungle mm -hmm. called a Baridi Nagal. Mm -hmm. Tastes when you boil it, it tastes just like mobi. And yes. that's good too. That's good for pain, back pain, and, and all types of stuff. But it, it's something that looks like the Kapadula vine. Mm -hmm. but I'm not sending anybody to go look for it, and you don't know what you're looking for, and, and <laughs> do something wrong. You gotta know it. Or go to the, the, the market that people sell them all the bush bark and, and the bark, bush. and mm -hmm. you could buy it from them. They sell the Burridi novel. And when you boil in that, you could add, you could add a little bit of like sarsaparilla, that that works nice. That gives it even more taste, and you know, could put okay. in a piece of capadula. You could, you could, you could mix, you could mix stuff with it. Remember this song with all the bush and the burger? Yeah, that was Granny Buck Bone and all that yeah, thing. That was, but <laughs> they got some places. That sells all those stuff. Yeah, by the you big market, there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and border the market too. Mm. Border market have a big place that sells those stuff. You could buy anything from sweet sage to. I don't to get daisy. why they name it sweet sage and it's, and it's bitter like, like gall. <laughs> yeah, you could get so much of stuff, man. Mm. Anyway, yes. let me show you. I'm going. I have my water that. Yeah, already put already put in, in and come to a boil. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to drop my stuff inside. Mm -hmm. This also gives it a nice little flavor. The lemon orange peel. Orange peel, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you gonna let that boil for. I'm gonna let it boil for like five minutes, and then I'm gonna turn down the heat. Then let it seep mm -hmm. for another ten, ten minutes or so. Okay. Then I'm gonna take it off. Add my sugar. Mm -hmm and my cream soda and then let it cool okay when it's cool i'm going to strain it probably put it in a, a nice bottle put mm -hmm. it back in the same water bottle there so i can put it in the refrigerator mm -hmm. i keep mine in the refrigerator so yeah you enjoy it cool yes over ice or just, or just straight just if you like, like it straight like that yeah, yeah so our next thing that i normally make every christmas is ginger beer yes so you can drop the later. I'm gonna drop that later and show you how I normally make it. Yes. So stay tuned, my people. Well, all right. So this is ready to be strained. Mm. I add the stuff into the boiling water and let that go for five minutes. Then I turn down the heat, let it go for another five minutes. And then I turn off the heat and let it seep for 15 minutes. Okay. So it's ready to be strained now. Right. So here goes. got a nice color, not yeah, too dark. Yeah, that's a nice color. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add my cream soda. Now you don't have to add this. You could make it just like that, but I just like the blend. Okay. So that's, that's how I like it. So I'm gonna add my sugar there. One cup of sugar. You could add more or less to taste. So I'm gonna stir this in there. This is the Moabit work that I get to buy here. So it's one pack of this I use to the gallon of water. Okay. If you think that the one pack is not strong enough for you, you could add a little bit more to your gallon of water. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit less. If it's too bit to add less. Yes. Make it to your desire how you like yeah, it. Exactly. And could add more sugar or less sugar. 
I guess if you're using it for um, diabetes and stuff, you ain't gonna put a lot of sugar. But back in the day, I used to see my mom when she already strained it, then she'd put it back in the pot and then throw it back. And oh, then, like I don't know if that was it. to cool it down or give it some, some to, to, get, to irritate it, to give it some froth. I don't know, but I saw she used to do that. I remember okay, that. From one thing to the other. Is yes, true. but here we go. That's my Moby. Okay, it looks so good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a glass with some ice, sample this bad boy. Mm -hmm. All right guys, there we have it. Have my glass of Moby with ice. I'm gonna give it a sample. So, cheers. Cheers. <sighs> Refreshing. That's so good. Want a, a, a coconut buns now? Yep, well, me and the buns, right? Yeah, but this this is good. This is so, good. you guys could let, uh, drop some comments and let me know how you make yours. Or if you give this one a try, let me know how you like it. And until we meet again, thanks for being with me. Peace and love is the message.